Hello sumo fans and welcome to the latest round of what's happening in the world of sumo. Mark your calendars as it seems that Ajigawa Oyakata, aka Ami Nishiki, aka Uncle Sumo, finally has a date for his Danpachiki ceremony for May 29th of this year. On the topic of Danpachiki, Iwata of Naruto Beya had his Danpachiki at a private ceremony at Naruto Beya. He's only 18 years old and the highest rank he held was joining on 51. We wish him all the luck in his next career. Moving over to a little COVID news in the world of sumo. Nakamura Oyakata, aka the former Yoshikaze, who is a coach at Nishono Sekibeya, has contracted COVID, although he did let everyone know on his own social media that he was asymptomatic. Nakagawa Oyakata, the former Asahi Sato, as well as Inagawa Oyakata, the former Komasubi Bunten no, who is a coach at Kisebeya, also tested positive for COVID recently, but there is no news of their conditions. Before the Sumotori make their trip down to Osaka, 570 people of the NSK took a PCR test on the 25th of February, but we're still waiting on those results. Also on the 25th, the Saitama District Public Prosecutor's Office dismissed all charges against Hirenoumi and Chiden. There were no reasons given for why the charges were dropped, but it does seem like a case where things were just swept under the rug. In a recent article, Asurayama spoke candidly about his feelings towards returning to the Jokyo as well as his sumo career after being caught lying and breaking COVID protocol when he was pictured with a reporter going to hostess bars. He said that he was remorseful for the violation and is now practicing for his return. Above all, he was inspired by his fellow stablemate, Asuna Waka, who was recently promoted to Jiro in the Kyushu Basho in November 2021. While Asuna Waka, his own Uchideshi, had risen to Jiro, he felt uncomfortable about the situation where he could only watch from outside the ring. When his grandfather died last June, which was after Asunayama's punishment for his COVID restriction violations and the media storm that followed, he blamed himself believing that his actions brought extra stress to his grandfather, which may have attributed to his death in some way. Which is a very understandable feeling when you lose someone close to you when it coincides with all that happened. At that point, he spoke to Takasako Oyakata, who told Asunoyama to be patient and do his best. We assume what Takasago meant when he gave him this advice was to give it time and be strong. And we can tell you sumo fans that time is a great healer. The bad part is that it just takes time. Unfortunately, to add another kick while Asunoyama was already winded, his father died suddenly at the age of 64. Again, Asunoyama blamed himself as though he had brought bad luck to his family with his actions. But instead of backing away from the challenges ahead of him, he decided to listen to his Oyakata and fight and stay strong. Asunoyama said, I can't run away from sumo. I feel as though I'm going to mount the dohyo again for my father. Hopefully, just like Abi, Asunoyama finds a new level of maturity on his return and can live up to the rank that he had before all of this happened. Let's not forget he didn't lose his Ozeki rank for what he did on the dohyo, and I'm sure that this will help drive him to get back there. I'm sure you know by now, if I can, I like to end with some happy news. So while it was no secret that Yokozuna Terano Fuji's wife was expecting at the end of last year, news has come to light that they welcome twins to their family. The Yokozuna isn't the only one whose family is growing. Takayasu's wife, the Enka singer, Konomi Mori, announced on her blog on March 1st that the couple is expecting to welcome their second child to the family this summer. And that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you for watching. Check out our latest podcast episode with the queen of sumo herself, Katrina Watts, as she takes us backstage and inside the secret world of sumo that she was a huge part of for 25 years. I'm Mika Grimmer. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell.